but it's rock Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's the seeker, please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom, we'll never be defeated. Evil legions, all of these evil demons. I know you see them screaming, please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom, we got the keys for the kingdom. Rock Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's the seeker, please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom, we'll never be defeated. Evil legions, all of these evil demons. I know you see them screaming, please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom, we got the keys to the keys to the. That's King James. Bring it up. That's why we out here. That's why can't nobody scoff against what we say. That's right. Read that again in Psalm 68 11. Because what color was what color was the prophets when you're reading the Bible? What color was Moses, Aaron? Right. So why would why would King James be a white man? King James was the last king of Scotland. King James is a black man. If he was walking on earth today, they would call him an Israelite out of the tribe of Jude. Read that again for the brother. Psalm 68, verse 11. Bring it up. The Lord gave the word. What? The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. So he was a part of that publication, and he authorized the uh, the Bible. I mean, what you got a different? He had the ability to assemble those scholars, so you understand. Like the brother brought out for your edification day, because we don't do we speak Greek? Do we speak the Hebrew? So this was necessary to be done, so we can come out here and let you know what you need to do, brother. That's right. That's now. What have you learned today before we close out? Speak up, brother. Speak up. You, you about to be a man, brother. Speak, speak loud, brother. Right, so which tribe do you come from, brother? Right, so that's the same tribe Christ came out of, brother. Same tribe that, that if King James was here today, they would be calling him that. What else? So you learned about the tribe. What else? You personally, what else you, you must stop doing? Yeah, smoking weed, brother. Give me that in Titus chapter 2, man. Bring it up. Why do you smoke weed? Right. But the brother brought out the fact that when you inhale smoke, what's the bodily response? Yeah, you cough, right? Do you vomit when you drink water? Do you vomit when you eat? So those things are natural for the body, so you understand. So just letting you know that smoke in the lungs is not natural. Right, so now you could use the CBD side, but not the THC side. Watch this. Is that the wrong with, if you use the CBD oil for like your joints and things like that, CBD is good for you. That's the part of the, the hemp plant that's actually beneficial. The, the THC side is, is no benefit to you. Watch this. Titus 2, verse 6. Bring it out. Young men. What? Young men. Brother, you're 19, right? So you qualify as a young man, correct? Come on. Young men, likewise exhort to be sober-minded. The Bible says you got to exhort. Why does it say exhort? Because the Lord knows in these last days we'd be under some affliction. It's hard being a black man in America. Just keep it at 100, bro. You know, a lot of times, a lot of times you'll see, like you, you, you too young to hear about the term called recreational drug use. That doesn't, that's not, that doesn't apply to the black man. Our people use, that's, that's the term. White folks used to casually use drugs for the experience. Because of the oppression and the curses on our people because our disobedience, we use drugs as an escape uh, mechanism and coping. But that's why the Bible says you got a young man, you got to exhort to be sober, bro. You can't, are you a young man? Your eye, your, the, the whites of your eyes should be, they should be white. Now they, they yellow, but do you drink, brother? So just smoking weed, like it's affecting your body. That's right. Read it again for the brother. Young men, exhort to be sober minded uh -huh. in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. Someone says, exhort to be so minded in all things, showing yourself a pattern of good works. Meaning, you got to be consistent with doing, thus saith the Lord. That's right. The whole thing, you out here sleeping around with the youngsters. Bro, you just a kid, bro. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I got a son. He about to turn 18. Bro, you a child, bro. You out here sleeping around. You have no idea what you're doing. No idea what you're doing. You got your own place. You got your own place. You ain't living with your folks or nothing like that. You got your own apartment. 
Right. That's what I'm saying. So that, I'm talking about your own place where it's just you in there. Like, if you get the sister pregnant, you get married. She can come back to your house. Not with a not with a third wheel in the house. Right. So you're not even positioned to be married. You're not even positioned to take on the family, brother. You got to get your mind right, brother. Read that right. one more time for the brother. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. So that's what we out here to, to teach our people. The pattern of good works is out of the scriptures. That's right. So we want you to get yourself together. If you come into the world of the Most High, your life will change around, brother. That's so, right. Know, all these young men. We got young brothers here, 25, 26, 23. They got their own place. Some of them got uh, houses. Some of them got apartments. But they're not sitting around smoking weed just, you know, playing PlayStation, bro. So now we learned about, we said the tribe you're from. You just learned that King James looked like you, right? You know, you know what Christ looked like, right? Y'all know it. So, what? Which one? Which one looks like a? Which one you think is a more accurate representation of Christ? This King of the One Hundred. Which one do you think Christ? Right, that's what they say Christ looked like, right? But does he look like that in the Bible, though? What, what do you think he looked like in the Bible? You think he looked like that? Right, we're saying, though, what do you think he looks like, though? Right, so let's read that real quick. This is the reason why we come out here. Because the, you confused, you should, if you know King James Black, you said Moses Black, obviously, what color must Christ be, brother? There you go, brother. Read that for me. Revelation 1, verse 1. Bring it up. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Bring it out. So we got to reveal Christ in the last days, because guess what? The white man set up the image of Caesar Borgia throughout the whole world to deceive many. Many people, this white guy just walked around, I'm pretty sure he just knows for a certain that Christ is white. But he's wrong, brother. Read right. it again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the revealing of Jesus Christ. Let's get to the point. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Why would Christ have to be revealed? Why would the description of Christ have to be made? Because God already knew that this man was set up the false image of Christ to subdue the earth. So it says his head and his hair, hairs were white like wool. Brother, what's the texture of your hair that you messing with right now? What is it? What does it more resemble? Does it resemble like dog fur or, or, or wool? You you say wool, brother? You look real confused, brother. Brother, are you high right now, brother? You looking real confused, brother? That's wool, brother. So that's two strikes right there because it said it's, it's white and woolly. When we look at the picture, the the, the so-called description of Christ, what is what does his hair look like? What is the color and the texture? Straight and what color? Right. So that's already two strikes right off the bat. Come on. If this is baseball, he about to be out. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ's eyes is prophesied to be red and what wine will read Genesis 49. Look at the eyes in them. Which one is more re uh, representation of Christ? With the who, Who's got red eyes and who doesn't? What color the eyes on the fake on the fake image? Watch out, uh blue right that's the opposite brother you see that that's already three strikes come on let's get the last one and his feet like unto fine brass what's the color of brass brother you think about the brass section in the band once you see somebody with a trumpet what color is it what's it more uh right but more reminiscent of what though actual color what color it's brown brother brass is brown brother watch this as if they burned in a furnace. So if you burn anything in a furnace, what color does it turn out? Right, so what color was Christ? Right, so this guy, that's four strikes. This guy's out of here, man. That's the image of the beast, brother. That's why people walk up and down the street, they all confused. They say, damn, man, y'all teaching hate. Hey, no, we teaching facts, brother. We ain't lynch nobody. We didn't set up institutions to, to uh, keep certain people from advancing. We didn't strip your name and heritage, brother. We teaching the truth, thus saith the Lord, man. That's right. And it's going to be misconstrued as hate, because guess what? This man is ruling.
Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So I want you to listen. I want you to listen to what the Bible says about this man. You need to listen. Job 9 verse 24. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. Now, what race of people run the earth, brother? Right. It says the earth is given to the hand of the who? Of the wicked. What does the Bible call him? There you go, the wicked. Watch this. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Now, who do you think the chief judge is in the Bible? The Savior. So it says he covered the faces of the judges. How did he cover the face of Christ? Bring it up. Think about it. You got two. You, watch out. Watch out, soldier. You got two depictions, brother. This ain't rocket science, brother. How did he cover his face? Come on, man. How did he cover his face? If you read that he looked like this, we read this in Revelation 1 and 14, and they produce you that. How did they cover his face? What did they do to him? What, they made him what, brother? What's your name again? Justin. So if I made an auto, if I did a movie, right, uh, what is it, autobiography? And I had Justin Timberlake play you, would that be an accurate representation, brother? There you go. That's like Mike Tyson playing as Ben Franklin in some damn colonial movie. That don't make no damn sense. Come on, brother. That's how they covered his face. They whitewashed it, man. Come on, brother. Stay with us. Read it again. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So if the wicked ain't the white man, the question said, well, who else then whitewashed all of the, 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 the images in the Bible? Think about the image of God. When you think about that, they got the, the naked man floating on the cloud with little naked babies behind them. You think about the games, they're little naked white angels, man. Have you ever seen Jackie Chan on the cross? What about Mahatma Gandhi? Have you ever seen a picture of Mahatma Gandhi on the cross? No, you haven't. So it's crystal clear who the wicked is because you only see images of white folk on the cross or depicted as God. That's crystal clear. That's not hate. That's fact. That's reality. That's right. You understand? A lot of people are going to be upset. Why do you think they, you think they killed Christ because Christ loved everybody? Teach. They killed Christ because he told the truth, brother. That's what right. I think. He was out there healing people, blindness, lame hand, bringing people back from the dead, paying taxes, and brought people back to life, and they killed them. All because he was teaching what we out here teaching today. We ain't harming nobody. Brother, did we harm you? Did we hit you with hate speech? Were we misogynistic? Were we homophobic, brother? You see the fool, but yet they throw all these labels on the same thing they did to Christ. Give me that, man. The servant ain't above his master. You know what I want. Bring it out. Yeah, somebody, y'all know. Somebody look that up for me. Y'all know. Yeah, I think it's Matthew 10. I think, is it 10? With all the slander? There you go. Watch this. So they said all that evil about Christ. What you think they're going to do to us? If they slander Christ, what you think they're going to do to us, bro? Same thing, brother. So that's why you can't entertain the fools because you witnessed us firsthand. Brother, did we harm you? We sat to build you up. The, thing, the things that we told you uh, to stop doing, is that to improve your life or make your life worse? There you go, brother. Just that simple. Because all of us brothers was doing the same dumb mess you was doing, brother. Right, Straight right. up. Right. Read that. Matthew 10, verse 24. Read up. The disciple is not above his master. So as they slandered Christ to eventually kill him, they're going to do the same thing to us, brother. Right. Just, I'm going to just tell you the truth. Straight up. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 